Hey everyone, on today's episode of Simply Lou, I'm gonna show y'all how I make my plain cheesecake recipe. Now this recipe also serves as the base for the rest of my cheesecake recipes, such as pumpkin or cookies and cream. The recipe winds up coming out very good. It's decadent, it's rich, it's light, and it's also fluffy. So come with me as I show you how to make Lou's famous plain cheesecake. Okay, so for the base of my recipe, we're starting with the crust. And so for my crust, I know what, typically with cheesecake recipes, most people use a graham cracker crust, but I actually like to use different cookies as my base for my plain cheesecake. So what I like to do, I actually mix a vanilla wafer with like any type of butter cookie, you know, those like Danish butter cookies you can get in the blue tins. And I actually go ahead, I'll take one night, I'll just go ahead, I'll put a bunch of cookies in the food processor and I'll keep it in a jar. So in here I have a mix of vanilla wafers and butter cookies. And so I'll start with that. And then I have some melted butter. Um, and here I do have a little bit of cinnamon, nutmeg, and actually just a little bit of sugar. And so what I'm gonna wind up doing, I'm actually just gonna combine the three ingredients in a bowl. You want your butter to be melted because we're actually gonna bake the crust before we bake the cheesecake filling. For about 10 minutes, we'll take it out, we'll let it cool, and then in between that time while it's cooling, we'll make our filling. My empty bowl here. And the amount of cookie crumbs you use really is dependent on how thick you like your crust. Um, that's probably good for me. I don't like a crust that's too thick, um, but I don't want it to be so thin that you don't really get that texture. So anyway, I have my cookie mix in here. Again, that's vanilla wafers and a butter cookie. I'm actually gonna add a little bit of cinnamon and nutmeg to it with a little bit of sugar as a sweetener. And that's like literally a fourth teaspoon of sugar, a fourth teaspoon of cinnamon, and then one eighth teaspoon of nutmeg. Oops, there goes my crusty soap. I literally have four of these exact same spatulas. We'll incorporate it, and then I'm gonna add my butter. My dog's gonna think the one that fell is a toy. I'm gonna pour the majority of my melted butter. You want it to be well coated, but you don't want it to be soggy. And you'll be able to tell because the cookie crumbs will get a little darker since the melted butter has kind of saturated them. But if it's too soggy, it'll just be kind of like a pool of oil. And then I have my springform pan already lined with parchment paper. So I'm gonna dump my cookie crumb crust in. I'm gonna spread it evenly with my spatula. And then you're actually gonna press it in with your fingers because you want it to really be kind of compact. And again, you can use whatever cookie you'd like. So if you really love a graham cracker, go with your graham crackers. Um, I use graham cracker crust too for certain flavors. Just really kind of depends on what kind of cheesecake you're making. But I really love this combination. You're just making a plain old cheesecake. Alrighty, so that's pretty tightly packed. It's gonna go into a 350 degree oven for about seven to 10 minutes, just so that it binds together, but you don't want it to burn. And then we're gonna take it out and let it cool. Okay, so for the filling for the cheesecake, what we're gonna need is full fat cream cheese. Um, I have five blocks of it in here. You're gonna need sugar. I have one and a half cups of sugar. In here I have five egg yolks and two whole eggs. And then in this bowl here, I have a mixture of sour cream, heavy cream, and vanilla extract. And so what I'm gonna wind up doing, I'm gonna cream 
the cream cheese alone. Now, my cream cheese has been sitting out for about six hours. You wanna put your cream cheese out four to six hours ahead of time so that it gets room temperature. Therefore, you won't have a lumpy cheesecake. So I'm just gonna take my hand mixer and I'm gonna wind up creaming it pretty smooth. Then I'm gonna add my sugar in and I'm gonna cream the two together. Once my sugar is well incorporated, I'm gonna add my eggs one at a time, or you can do two at a time, but you don't wanna add them all at one time because you wanna kind of beat it in really smoothly. So I'm gonna add my eggs one at a time and mix it very well before adding the next egg. And then once my all my eggs are well incorporated, then I'll add my mixture of my sour cream, my heavy cream, and my vanilla extract, and it's really three teaspoons, or not teaspoons, three tablespoons of sour cream, three tablespoons of heavy cream, and one tablespoon of vanilla extract. Then I'll add that in. Once that's done, I will pour that into my spring form pan. Okay, so now that you're done with your arm workout, AKA mixing your cheesecake, um, I have my cold pan and I'm literally just gonna scoop the cheesecake batter into the pan. You could just pour it, but I mean, I'm kind of like OCD, I guess. So I prefer to scoop it so I can truly monitor how much goes in. So I've got my ladle here. And you're gonna realize that it gets pretty messy mixing it, so. It is normal to have cheesecake in various spots of your kitchen, on your clothing, on your face. And one thing I don't think I told y'all earlier is a pinch of salt in the bag. I usually will just put a little pinch of salt in with the sugar, so then when I cream it together, it's already there. So that's an FYI. Now you don't wanna fill it all the way to the top. You wanna fill your springform pan maybe three fourths the way full. So I'm actually gonna shake it out so I can see and it's exactly where I want it. So over here, I have a cookie sheet, baking pan, whatever you wanna call it. And this is actually a crock pot liner. So I'm gonna take my cheesecake, um, and I did wrap my spring form pan in just a little bit of aluminum foil, but I'm gonna place it right in the middle of my crock pot liner. Now this is kind of a trick that I actually learned from somebody else. I couldn't tell you where I learned it, Pinterest, whether it was YouTube, Instagram somewhere. But actually, what you wanna do so that you don't have cracks in your cheesecake is you wanna bake it in a water bath. And most people just wrap the outside of their springform pan extensively in foil. But every so often, unfortunately, you can get a hole in there and water gets into your cheesecake and you basically ruin the whole thing. So something that's completely foolproof is this crock pot liner. So if you place the cheesecake in there and pour the water on the outside, because it's a crock pot liner, you don't have to worry about it burning in the oven. It's completely oven safe, but there, there's literally no way any water is truly gonna seep into it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in my oven, and then I'll fill my pan um, maybe about an inch high with some water, half an inch to an inch, um, and you're gonna let it bake on 350 for about 40 to 45 minutes until it's almost all the way solid. Okay guys, so it is the next day. I'm gonna let y'all know, so with cheesecake, if you don't want the top to crack, it's best to actually leave it in the oven um, and let it cool in the oven versus taking it out, which is why I suggested 40 to 45 minutes and have it be pretty solid but with a little bit of jiggle because it'll continue to continue to cook once you turn the oven off. So I left this in my oven for about maybe two hours after I had turned it off right at 45 minutes and then I took it out and I put it in my fridge to cool. Um, so here it is today and actually I have, I did make another one because we're going to an event tonight and they requested cheesecake. But this is how it turns out. You can see how golden um, brown the top gets from baking. Now there's tons of varieties you can put on top of this cheesecake. But since this is kind of what I use as my base cheesecake, I'm not gonna top it. Um, even though my preferred option would just be with some simple whipped cream. Um, and we're gonna try a piece. You know, if you see you guys you know Anthony quite well now. Here for the end of the stuff. Just for the tasting. I don't know why I think I'm gonna hold and cut it at the same time. I'll hold, I'll hold it.
like how beautiful that crust looks. Yum, 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 yum. And seriously, cheesecake is another really great go-to this time of year. Christmas is right around the corner, and I'm telling you what, just a simple cheesecake will get the job done. Thank you. We've got some on my fingers. I'll even, I'll even let you get the first bite. Alrighty. Mm-mm-mm. Why am I struggling? I'm always struggling. Alright. Mmm. Y'all. That is so good. Perfectly sweetened, but not too sweet. It's light, it's fluffy, it's airy. It's delicious. And the crust is so good. It adds just a perfect amount of crunch. I'm telling you, this will be a hit no matter what topping you use. So if you like this video today, please remember to like and subscribe below. And we'll see y'all on the next episode of Simply Lou.